Welcome back to the channel, thank you very much for joining me. So I recently realised that I have a lot of images of central London around the River Thames, but all in one particular area, the St Paul's, Tower Bridge and London Bridge area. But I've never gone any further east than that. So that's what we're doing today. It's landscape photography, a bit of long exposure photography on the east side of the River Thames. Let's go. I did not expect to see that. Wow. Some of you might think it's a, a hideous mess, but um, yeah, really interesting. Uh, couldn't really set the tripod up because it was kind of, you know, the best place to kind of see it close enough was from this industrial estate, which I'm not actually still sure if I was meant to go in. It did say pedestrian walkway was there in existence. Um, so we'll see. I'll run those shots first of the uh, shipwreck, boat wreck, and uh, I've no idea what it is or what it was. Past tense, what it was. It's not anything at the moment. Um, but yeah, I'll run those shots first and uh, I'll come back and talk to you about my next composition. So our next composition set up is of the Thames Barrier. And yeah, it's pretty interesting to look at. I'm going for a simple minimalist style. Um, I've got the 10 stop filter out and I'm purposely going for a simple photograph. Um, I love the industrial tones, the metal, the way the light hits it. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it's really gonna work in a long exposure photograph. I don't think there'd be much to it if I didn't kind of smoothen out the River Thames and kind of slow that down. I don't think there'd be much there, um, personally. Don't really feel like taking that photograph, so why would I? Um, I'm gonna put up a monochrome and a color version. Let me know which one you like better of the two, uh, two styles. And uh, yeah, also running a little time-lapse. So I will share that all with you now uh, before we move on to the next one. Went to the other side uh, of the Thames Barrier and took some photographs from that angle. And uh, yeah, it's okay. I mean, I think I prefer with the city group buildings in the background, Canary Wharf, that from the first spot, I prefer that one. A bit more of an interesting background, personally. Uh, do let me know what you think in the comments down below. It's a really lovely day for a walk and just exploration. Part of the River Thames I've never done, never done it. So yeah, really good stuff. 
We'll continue on because I do have an idea of where I want to finish the day's shoot in Greenwich. So we're just on the outskirts now. We're going to go into Greenwich and uh, let's see what happens next. final uh, photographs I'm going to share was of this really interesting view that I never would have associated with the, uh, you know, the River Thames, so central to London. Um, small boats, fishing, leisure, I don't know, classification, but not what I'd associate with London. Um, so yeah, tried to make it work. It was trickier than it first looked because there's so many different ways of doing it. There's so many different compositions. There's kind of really nice boats, but then you've got sort of ugly things in the background that you're trying to exclude. Um, but I think it worked out pretty well. I think it worked out pretty well. And I've had a great time exploring this part of the River Thames that I've never stepped foot on. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.